Comics Remixed here with the hardcore legend himself, Mick Foley. How are you feeling today, pal? Good. I, I don't want the fact that I'm, I'm using sanitary wipes to in any way be a reflection <laughs> on any hint that anyone there, you know, is unsanitary at all. Just, no, not at all. Shake a lot of hands. You got you to take care of yourself, too. Hey, it's been a great day here. Uh, I, I really had no idea what to expect. Um, been to Wizard World. I didn't really know what the difference was between C2E2. I really couldn't. Could you explain it to me? The difference between the two cons? More of like a pop culture event. I suppose so. I've heard that this one is actually more about the comics and kind of more bare bones than, you know, Wizard World. But that's just what I've heard. Very cool. Hey, can I show you guys? Can I have that picture? Look at this. Absolutely. Now, this is a photograph. Look at that bad boy, right? Me and Stan, I had a meeting with him like 10 years ago in his office at his request. And uh, this is the first time I've seen him since then, but a uh, great photo. That's great. I'd like to ask you one quick question about the WWE. You posted a video on YouTube recently talking about once you know CM Punk left the WWE, how you were going to talk to him about you know his, his absence. Have you spoken to him? No, I sent him a message last night uh, about getting together for dinner, unless I'm mistaken. He didn't... Uh, no, he did not get back to me. Uh, look, I hear he's, uh, he's doing great. Like, he's, he's uh, having fun. He's showing up at the Cl Cubs game. Uh, he's his own dude, you know. He knows that I I'm there for him if he needs uh, uh, an ear, like one ear. Because <laughs> I've only got one. Of course. <laughs> only got, like... He's only got one ear. See, like, if I put this thing behind my ear, I got right, boom, it stays. And now watch this. It's... It's not, you can try it. Go ahead. It's, it's no illusion. Go ahead. Try to put that pen behind the ear. Oh, jeez. Wow. Ah, look at oh, that. Yeah. It's no lie. That's what happens when you play rough. So don't run with scissors, kids. <laughs> if you could choose one of the most promising superstars on the WWE roster today, who would you choose? I think what you meant to ask was uh, about my shirt and why there are so many Santa Clauses on it. Uh, You're right. You're absolutely right. I can't. Yeah. Uh, because if you look closely at that photo, can I see the photo of me and Stan again? It really pops. Like this design really pops on there. And what that is, it's uh, day 122 of the 365 day uh, Show Me the Santa Challenge, in which I will wear something Christmassy or Santa esque every day for an entire year up until December 26th. So you're doing that right now? We're at day 122. And. Uh, it's uh, you know it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Uh, so I'm just going to try to find something. I I imagine I could pass with this one day because it is a, a Santa sock. I think people would let me go if I had visual evidence of that. Uh, and I'm going to try to make it through and uh, see if we can't ulterior motive. Full disclosure. Right. Try to create a little grassroots interest for my documentary on Santa Claus. I am Santa Claus. You know, debuting in November. Now go ahead with your wrestling question. <laughs> the question was, I got a lot of crazy fans well, out there. One, who's the most promising? Most superstar? promising. Well, you know, there's guys on different levels of the promising scale. Like, you know, like Antonio Cesaro is promising to break through that next. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't gone out and said, "I promise," but he has the promise to break through to that really upper echelon. Uh, and I even predicted that uh, on my. Uh, Facebook post. I said, I'm predicting it's going to be a huge weekend for Cesaro, and then he won the Battle Royal, and the day after WrestleMania, he became a Paul Heyman guy, so I see really big things in uh, his future, and there's so many great guys. Bray Wyatt, right? The scary guy. Yeah, little shades of a little mankind there, yeah. you know? Yeah. I said that. I called that. Little shades, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice. Uh, so I, I, enjoy, I, I enjoy the show, you know? I, I enjoy the show. So you'd say Cesaro is one of the most promising? I do. I have an image in my mind of how this will all transpire, uh, but I do not want to uh, play that hand because I'm afraid it might jinx him. That's a good way to play it. And thank you so much for joining us today. Great interview. Great to see you. We saved the best interview for last today. All three faces of Foley wanted to say goodbye to you. Oh. Ow, goodbye. Have a nice day. Bang, bang. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go.